because I can relate to E.T. Want to go home because the original ancestors, some of them that did come from the African continent or wherever they come from, or maybe they come from a certain part of the country, they wanted to go home. It was never meant to be. Never meant to be. So I can shed tears. And I feel no shame. In sharing the grief and the pain of others. Of course, as you know, the Queen of England died this, this week also. And there are many pro-Blacks and Pan-Africans and they are celebrating. How does that help you? How does that help you to celebrate the death of the Queen of England? How does that help you? You don't get anything. It makes you look stupid. We understand the history of the royal family. Yeah. Celebrating her death is not going to help your situation. Her journey is over. Yours continue and you don't benefit because she's gone. It's just feel good rhetoric. So I don't waste my time and I'm not gonna waste my time talking about the passing of the Queen of England because it does nothing detrimental or beneficial for me. It is uncivilized behavior to me. Because even when you're dealing with a foe, there's a certain civility, there's a certain respect and honor you should have for your opponent. There was a scene <clears throat> from from uh, the Way of the Dragon, Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee had a standoff. And of course, Chuck Norris wants to kill him. But in the end, as you know, Bruce Lee killed Chuck Norris and he took Chuck Norris' jacket and he laid it over him. He never showed hatred for a person that wanted to kill him. He just saw an opponent. And he respected that opponent for who he was. And he laid his jacket over his enemy. See, y'all are a bunch of losers. And the only thing, you can't fight at all. So the only thing your punk sissy self can do is sit back and cheerlead. Because you can't fight. Her people, the Queen of England, whoop your ass. And you don't know what to do, and you can't fight back. You have no honor, you have no integrity. Because her passing means nothing. It doesn't change nothing.
We're not going to waste our time. Our time is going to be dedicated to the healing and the development so that we can get strong like her people and if necessary, take back what you claim they stole. Cheerleading because a 90-some-year-old woman died who lived an a, a incredible life. That don't help me. That don't help you at all. I'm saying this to bring to us. I could be wrong. I could I could be wrong. I could be in error. I'm subject to error. I don't claim perfection. The deacons of reality, anybody that talked to me, know that I'm open to, and I listen to another point of view because I could be wrong. I don't want to be in error. I don't want to be wrong. Now I'm going to make you prove it. It's got to sound logical. And it might take me a few days to get through my thick skull. But I'm going to embrace the truth. I'm going to embrace logic and reason. That's what this platform stands on. As you know, Sister Ava Muhammad passed. She transitioned this week, last few days. And I'm talking about emotion. Again, I could be wrong because I don't watch a lot of videos. I don't watch really what's happening in YouTube land. There's a reason why I cannot fill my head up with all this different YouTube stuff it because it will taint, it will clog my own thinking process. And I don't want to get caught up in that. I don't want to mix with that because that is not real. I could be incorrect. I have not seen enough. I watched some of the a eulogy that Minister Louis Farrakhan gave for Sister Ava Muhammad. I, I've talked to my relatives who are part of the Nation of Islam. And for me, my observation and my conclusion, I don't see grief from them about Sister Ava. I don't see tears. I don't, I don't hear grief and mourning from them. I talk to my relatives. They talk like, well, you know, whatever. Now, being from the nation of Islam, I do understand the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches there is no afterlife. When you die, you're dead. So we can, we can concur and we are in agreement with that. But that does not mean you don't cry. That does not mean you don't mourn. And this woman gave 40 years of her life to something that you claim that you love. I heard Louis Farrakhan speak, but I just didn't feel mourning from him. It's, it felt as though, oh, well, she died. I got to give a eulogy. That's what it sounded to me. I didn't feel the essence of his words to show that he really is mourning the loss of one of his greatest helpers. I, I don't feel that. I just don't. When we first began to learn that Sister Ava had passed, I didn't see no big deal, no, like, wow, you know, I, I didn't really see no big uproar of grief and shock. I am subscribed to Wesley Muhammad. I am subscribed to Brother Ben X. 
And to my knowledge, I haven't heard them speak about the national representative of Louis Farrakhan. Ava Muhammad was the, had the same position that Malcolm X had to Elijah Muhammad to Louis Farrakhan. She was his national representative. She went from sister captain to the, uh, I believe, the, the, the southern regional minister, something to that effect. Then she rose to his national spokesperson. You would think that would be a great loss for the nation of Islam. I don't see it from them. I just don't. That's the point I wanted to make because some of us, we are in these organizations. Some of us are part of these cliques. And when, it's, when, when the smoke clears, you was just something to use. Nobody really cared nothing about you like that. We don't even know why Sister Ava passed. Keeping a secret is undercover. She, she was diagnosed with cancer in 1983. So it couldn't be the cancer. I mean, it could be, but she lived 40 years after the diagnosis with cancer. So to me, something, I just don't see the emotion, the outpouring of emotion and mourning. And now she's gone, it's, it's over. I just don't see it. And I bring this up because I know that people use folks. And once you can't be used anymore, oh well. My uncle died a few years ago. He was a captain. He'd been with Minister Farrakhan over 30 years. Nobody cared. After he died, the phone stopped ringing. Can't be used no more. Minister Farrakhan did not even acknowledge his passing. No email. No card, no nothing. I will never be like that. Any of you that sacrifice and we suffer together and we ride together, there's no way I'm not going to shed a tear and let the world know of my loss. It's not going to happen. Because it's not about my glorification. If something happened to you, part of me died too. It's not going to happen. next week on these same stations and you can get the last money it's all gonna be a stone gas honey i'm don cornelius and as always in party we wish you love peace